Good morning, children. Today we will start with a geography subject of class tenth, with a chapter number five, soil resources in India. Soil resources are a form of environmental asset providing a range of ecosystem services. This is soil resources. So in this chapter we will discuss five sub units of soil resources. First is importance and formation of soil. Second, composition of soil. Third, soil erosion. In this we will discuss about the causes of soil. Fourth point, soil conservation. In fifth point, major soil groups of India. Here different types of soil groups are there, so we will discuss about that. First, come to our main point the first point that is importance and formation of soil soil supports plants animals as well as human life life depends on the food we eat and soil is the source of that food for man and animal thus agriculture production depends on fertility of soil as we know soil supports plants that means our life is possible on this unique planet only because of soil only because of plants how soil is playing very important role see children that plants we we are growing plants that farmers are growing different types of crops and we human being and animal we all are using these crops different types of crops we are using for surviving our life and for our life one most important thing is oxygen and this oxygen is possible only because of plants so these things are soil plants human being animal all these things are interconnected with each other so if plants are not there we cannot live animals cannot live and if soil is not there then plant is not possible on the earth so this means soil is playing very important role because of soil we are getting food we are getting oxygen that's why we can survive on the earth i hope you all understand first point importance of soil now come to formation of soil first we will discuss about definition soil essentially is the loose material which forms the thin surface layer of the earth its formation is related to the parent rock material relief climate and vegetation animals insect and man also play an important role in the formation of soil we all are playing very important role in formation of soil soil is formed under specific natural conditions it is a mixture of a mineral minerals or inorganic matter which results from denudation and disintegration of rocks thus soil is a renewable natural resources though it takes a long time to regenerate it it is not a very easy process it is very time taking process the process of soil formation is called pedogenesis this is very important the process of soil formation is called pedogenesis you have to underline now see come to our second point composition of soil composition of soil it is divided into two terms inorganic components organic components first we will discuss about inorganic components soil is composed of three main substances these are silica clay chalk we can say calcium carbonate silica silica is present in the soil in the form of small crystalline grains it is the main constituent of sand it is derived from the disintegration of 
rocks now come to second point clay clay is a mixture of silicates and many other mineral such as iron calcium sodium potassium and aluminum clay soil retain moisture it contain moisture now come to third point chalk chalk provides the most essential elements for plant growth which is calcium now come to our second point second term organic components these determine the fertility of the soil they are derived from the decay of vegetable matter the ultimate form of organic matter is humus it is not a mineral very important it is not a mineral it is organic matter because it is formed by the de decomposition of plant remains animal waste and dead animal it helps the soil to retain moisture it imparts fertility of the soil it also helps the plants to draw the nutrient from the soil essential for its growth other than the soil also contains moisture and air which varies from soil to soil different from soil to soil the moisture is differ you can say in rajasthan uh, the uh, soil is containing very less moisture and uh, if whenever we are moving into these uh, that coastal areas uh, the soil containing much moisture now we will discuss a third point soil erosion causes of soil erosion mainly these five points are responsible for soil erosion running water wind overgrazing main plants and animals faulty method of agriculture one by one we will discuss about these points first come to running water these running water are responsible for soil erosion they are divided into three terms splash erosion sheet erosion gully erosion it is also called rill erosion the prime factor of soil erosion is running water indirectly soil erosion helps in soil formation not in soil formation soil forming because from whenever the soil is removed it is deposited elsewhere however it disturbs the agricultural pattern and should be prevented there are several ways in which soil erosion takes play uh, takes place due to running water that we already i explain you about these points splash erosion sheet erosion gully erosion come to first one splash erosion where soil is pulverized we can say crushed soil is crushed by the impact of heavy drops and hailstone as in a case of convectional rainfall sheet erosion whereby due to heavy rains a surface film of water carries away the even surface layer of the top soil as it moves whenever it is moving it takes these parts so it is called sheet erosion now come to third one gully we can say rill erosion whereby on steep slopes in absence of any vegetation water flows with force downhill developing into a channel flow cutting steep sided valley as it runs off so because barriers are not there no any plants are there trees are not there so they are not getting any barrier it's just flowing cutting steep sided valley it as it runs off gully cut up the agriculture land into bad land where no cultivation is possible there now come to a second point wind soil erosion by wind occurs on extensive flat lands you know flat lands 
you can see in uh, uh, desert area the land is flat no any mountain no any river valleys barrier is not there so we can say it a flat land which are subject to a windy dry season for a part of the year windy dry season is there the upper soil surface becomes loose and susceptible to wind erosion due a leak of moisture because absence of moisture the wind uh, the mo moisture is not there so they are not connected with each other and uh, loose particles are there so easily they can blow with wind so this is the most important reason of soil erosion in desert area because moisture is not there and if moisture is not there the wind easily take from one place to other place this is called wind erosion now come to our third point overgrazing due to overgrazing wind erosion occurs as the soil devoid of vegetation is directly exposed to the wind now come to our fourth point man plants and animals main activities like construction work plowing cutting down trees etc causes soil erosion overgrazing by animals and uprooting of plants also results in dismantling the soil so we human being are also responsible for soil erosion because of our construction work you can see nowadays due to modernization uh, our land area our fertile land our fields are changed into a city uh, different type of constructions are going on many hotels are constructed over there so this field part our cultivation area um, become very short and uh, due to modernization and uh, due to our human activity um, many construction work is going on there so it directly affect on soil erosion so we human being are also responsible for the, that plants and animals are also responsible because of overgrazing soil erosion is possible and plants are also responsible for that so this is also very important point this is uh, we can say very important cause for soil erosion now come to fifth point faulty method of agriculture faulty method of agriculture that means we are not doing properly agriculture our methods are wrong so it is called a faulty method of agriculture see in this three types of method are written shifting agriculture lack of crop rotation wrong plowing one by one we will discuss about that shifting agriculture in which shifting agriculture in which plots of land are cultivated temporarily then abandoned and allowed to revert to their natural vegetation while the cultivator moves on to another plot they they shift their land from one place to another place when their nutrient uh, become uh, their nutrients become go out less and um, see when fertility is less the people move from one place to another place this is called shifting agriculture okay now see second point lack of crop rotation crop rotation first we have to know about what is crop rotation it is the practice of growing a series of dissimilar or different types of crops in the same area in sequence season it is done so that the soil of farm is not used for only one set of nutrient it helps in reducing soil erosion and in increasing soil fertility so we have to rotate crops but usually people are not doing they are using same crop same season because of this because because of lack of crop rotation the nutrients of soil became reducing 
and our fertility is reducing fertility is also reducing and production is also reducing because same crop same time same field the same thing is growing so fertility became very less so we have to use this crop rotation method and why it is a beneficial for us it is done so that the soil of farm is not used for only one set of nutrient it help in reduce reducing soil erosion and in increase soil fertility now see children come to our third point wrong flowing soil is not contains its perfect shape in size water leads to erosion due to which act its supporting agent which create erosion fast or low depends on gradients so children we have completed we have completed uh, first second third till third point we have completed so my dear students you have to prepare inside questions till this and you have to do in your notebooks rest part of this point rest part of sub units of this chapter we will discuss in our next video so but honestly you have to complete your work you all know that very difficult time is going on we all are giving you lecture on online process or we can say the by sending videos so my dear students strictly you have to follow the rules and regulation because time is very important nowadays uh, we are sending you videos for so we can reduce your loss of study so dear student you have to prepare inside portion of these three points and the rest we will discuss in our next video have a good day god bless you